insane, man. That's insane, chat. Can we can we get the chat to blow up for that? That's amazing. Ruba D, very generous as well. Um, where did the forest workout video go? It's on YouTube, Ruba D. Matthew, that was awesome. Thank you, man. I guess I'm gonna have to activate Windows now. <laughs> Guys, uh, welcome. I try not to be distracted. Welcome to Wildlife Mayhem. This is going to be very chaotic. Um, as you can see, there's lots of wildlife around here. We have zebras, elephants, we have rhinos, lions, and we have tigers, we have wolves, we have boars, we have ostriches, we have deer, we have monkeys. Furious the monkey boy. There's fish. I mean, what what is it there? What is it there? Oh, we even have crocodiles down here. We have goats. There is literally every animal imaginable. Komodo dragons. So, uh, long story short, you need to be very careful where you go on this map. The ultimate goal is to capture this monument. But this is going to be hilarious. This is going to be hilarious. So, let's let's introduce the players now. We even have the water buffaloes. Uh, we have Spice in the green playing as the Magyars. In the orange, we have Eldry playing as the Magyars. In the purple, we have Berbers for Machlaua. In the yellow, we have Ethiopians for Rufella. In the red, we have Leisure playing as Mongols. In the blue, we have Unlightning playing as Indians. And in the gray, we have Shaka B playing as the Malay. Um, and I don't know, we even have a penguin here. I guess this penguin is... The scout for Shocker, which is really weird. Uh, he also has a priest. But this this poor penguin is getting attacked by by uh, jaguars, lions, Komodo dragons. And no, dude, don't take the penguin back to your base, Shocker, no. Shocker, no. Don't bring the- no. Don't bring the animals into your base, man. What are you doing? He's trying to bring the, the goats in, maybe? This is so funny. This is so ridiculous, but why did he just bring these <laughs> deadly animals inside his walls? What are you doing, penguin? I just don't get it. Is he gonna try and take him back out now? Yeah, yeah, just passing, just passing, guys. <laughs> oh, can we get the T90 passings in the chat? Is is all a trick. Unfortunately, some of these are still stuck in here. I can only imagine the amount of lag that these players are experiencing with so many animals, thousands of animals on the map. Um, this penguin's still alive. I don't know if he regenerates health or what. I just jinxed him though. He's gonna get, gonna get destroyed. I think. No, well, maybe not. I don't know. It's not regenerating health, so it probably will at some point. Crazy, crazy map where there's so much food. So I think Mongols for leisure will be very strong. I also think Magyars would be pretty strong because Magyars should be able to one-shot, the villagers will one-shot all these creatures that will attack them. Now, I'm told there are iron boars. I'm allowing the spectators, we have Strode here, regular on the stream, I'm allowing the spectators to uh, like point out things that are happening because there's so much happening and I'm not going to be able to follow it. Eldry is showing up with his penguin. So yeah, there's also fish. Um, it's not a very balanced map, of course, but that's what makes it fun. So you want to place docks and collect fish. Very nice, secure food. There's not a lot of wood on this map. The walls you have are only 1 HP. They're, they're a fence. All the, the cows and the turkeys coming in from Machlawa now. What animal is not here? I'm pretty sure every Age of Empires animal is here. We even have bears to the north. There's everything. The, the noises are really bothering me, though. I'm not used to this. <laughs> we have box turtles up here. No sheep. Oh. Man, you guys really... You thought of that pretty quick. There's got to be sheep somewhere. Snippy, did you not put sheep in here? Way to go, Snippy. Map ruined. It's fine. This is still awesome. So, 20 villagers for Red. He has the build lead, but everybody else except for Eldry seems to be okay. Eldry looks to have had a, a tough start. Guys, do you want me to leave the chat on or the chat off? Because I can leave this... I can leave this on. Like, St. Red is obviously listening to the stream and responding to me now. 
But it's helpful when people are talking about the game, especially with regicide and whatnot. Pandas? Are there age vampires pandas though? On, off, 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 on. Alright, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it off. Alright, so Feudal Age on the way for Leisure. Leisure is the strongest player in my opinion, and he's Mongols. Look at the amount of food he has here. This is just craziness. Just crazy. Elephants are boars, if you didn't know that. So, if you watch competitive Age of Empires and this is confusing to you, you can collect elephants and rhinos. Just like boars, they have a little bit more food. Look at all the resources Red has here as Mongols. Two more boars, an elephant, ostriches, which are the deer. Uh... Water buffaloes, turkeys, goats. Zebras out here, you can always mill. I think he wants to build a castle in the next stage and go for some Mangadai with that castle. Be very a very good decision to build a castle to secure your base, I think. Feud Lage on the way for Kleiner and for Spice as well. No shortage of food for anybody. So all civs should be able to have a strong start. I love the Komodo Dragons. I think it's such a cool unit. Oh, and for those that don't know Furious the Monkey Boy, he has 99 attack. So he pretty much one-shots all units in the game. <laughs> he only has 9 HP. So with 10 archers, or 9 archers, you can kill them, but... They're hiding here. They're lurking. So we are going to see some people get destroyed. That's for sure. A major Guild Gaming. Thank you for the sub. Matthew, thank you for the sub. Freeloading HCF. Thank you for the sub. So who is the most animals? Which petting zoo would you want to go to? I'm liking Blue's petting zoo. This is nice. And you don't want to bring the kids to this one because some of the animals are getting eaten because there's not enough space, but... Um, eh, turkeys are boring, so I don't know if I'd want to go to red's base. Yellow doesn't have a lot that would really interest me. Ah, here we go. Look at this. We got water buffalo. Oh, what's dying? Woo, woo, woo. Lions and wolves gaming up on uh, Match Lawa's villagers. Lots of resources here. I like this area. I also love the dock from him. <laughs> Turkey stink too. They do stink. <laughs> I think we just lost our our uh, audience of turkeys. I know I had two or three turkeys that watched the stream. They came in from the wilderness one day and saw Age of Empires and couldn't go back to their normal life. It's just impossible to cast this one in a normal fashion. This is a hilarious game. Is Teal making militia? Oh no, where are you going, dude? Kleiner, where are you going? What are you doing? You have the Age of Empires 1 monks here as well. Where is he trying to go? Was this a misclick? Maybe he wanted to take all these elephants and boars, because there's a lot there. That would be a good idea. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 20 plus boars or boar equivalents in one part of your screen there. Will is 37. <laughs> Just like Will is 38. Thank you for seven months. And winced. Did we hit a thousand now? We did. Awesome, guys. Thank you. It's actually not the first time we've hit a thousand, but that's an amazing number. Thank you. Uh, Bombay, we hit 1300 during the live stream. I mean, during the live stream. Jeez, what do you think this is? During the 24 hour stream. But. I think 250 of those were gifts. <laughs> so we're, we're pretty close to a sub high right now. Uh, Spice on the way to Castle Age. Lightning or Unlightning on the way to Castle Age. The same with Leisure. Oh, we're exactly at 1,000. That's amazing, guys. Thanks. Yeah, we're not going to do another 24-hour stream. The next 24-hour stream will come at 1,400 subs. I think. Ah! Run, woman! It's fine. It's fine. She needs to run the other way, so it de-aggros. Yeah, there you go. He needs to bring that into the TC. 
So guys, the countdown has started in the middle. There's there's that monument. 423 years. So much wildlife around, which means units are going to die when people start sending things this way. A few furious the monkey boys around. Do do do. -do. Careful what you say. 655 people heard you say 1,400 subs. Yeah, I should probably make an official goal. Um, but the reason I really wanted to hit 1,400 is because we'll get another emote slot. And yeah, maybe, maybe, let's not stick to that. I'll have to make a new goal. Because I am going to have giveaways soon to thank you guys uh, for all the amazing support. Um, there's a couple other things I want to get squared away, but... Thing about 24 hour streams is you don't want them to be too regular because if they are then they're not exciting Everybody loved the 24 hour stream and that's because it was rare. We did amazing different things and Because of that it was just very exciting, but if I did one every three months, I don't think it would still have that excitement Kleiner on the way to castle Eldry on the way to castle Shulker on the way to castles so of people working their way up So what do you do on this map? After you hit the next stage, how can you boom up your economy? I can see how you can add fishing ships. It would be really good for leisure. But like, what are your options here? There's not a lot of area to place farms or town centers. Oh, by the way, there's some there's an iron boar out here for leisure. Iron boars are not like regular boars. They will attack you and they are devastating. Now, luckily, he pushed that iron boar away with the TC. Uh, this this bear is not happy. Those are his berries or uh, that's his fruit bush rip. I Hope if I ever get attacked by a bear I get loom first because it seems like you can withstand a bear attack for quite a while if you research loom Ah fire burner, what's up? What's up? We did not see the castle I thought we we're going to see from Leisure. But he's still banking up stone, so we went for a couple of town centers first. And maybe we'll build the, the castle here. So the crazy thing about iron boars is that they look the same, and you go over to shoot them, and then your field doesn't shoot them, it just runs right into the boar. The boar has 700 food, but look at the HP on it, and just wait till it attacks your vills. It's very, very strong. I'm really happy with how even this is. Also, look at this. Look at this trail of animals from Kleiner. Look at this. <laughs> he just has animals coming towards his base from all around the map. It's craziness. I think he's going to give most of them to Gray. What I want to see is a bunch of dead bodies. I want to see someone explore. Someone go out exploring, please. Here we go! Here we go! Uh, I feel bad that it's always matched Lauer, but woo woo woo! Get wrecked! He's gonna lose another villager to wildlife. Uh, this one should be fine. This is fine. Match Lauer's top score. It's fine, chat. No big deal. It doesn't want to go this way. There's four lions and four jaguars. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Dude, dude, dude! Ugh! <laughs> yeah, this is fine. It's no big deal. He has it under control. 50 vills now for Leisure. So I think Leisure's skill is really showing now. His, his economic boom is a lot stronger. I'm surprised he hasn't docked, but as I say that, yeah, he's, he's adding some fishing ships. Ooh, someone else got the middle. Aha, uh -huh, Kleiner's horse. Not a scout, but a horse. Got control of the middle. Doesn't really mean anything now. So that's how he was able to get all those sheep and, and goats and... Well, not sheep, sorry. Turkeys and goats and whatnot. Yeah, look at his base. Look at all the goats he has here. That's crazy. He's Mongols and he's created longswords. Interesting unit choice. Also, he has a siege workshop down here. Maybe he wants to use some siege versus the animals. I'm not sure. But don't... Don't build this house, man. No, be careful. <laughs> Imagine if we played this on hardest. If we played this on hardest, these animals would see him and attack him as well. 
I probably should have said that. All right, well, Civ lies. I want to hear what Twitch chat has to think. What Civ do you think is going to be the strongest here when we come to the middle? There's water, so players could dock this. So good water civilizations might have a good chance. I think Mongols, Magyars, Indians, Berbers, and Ethiopians, all the Civs, do have a shot here. It just depends on how strong their economies are. Khmer? Are Khmer here? Uh, no, we don't have Khmer playing, actually. That would be a great free-for-all pick, though. Yes, Waffle Jaw. Difficulty affects aggro distance of animals. So if you have it on easy, you can stand right next to animals and you rarely get attacked. See, this is standard difficulty. It's very important on, uh, even in the expert level, that you do standard. Because if you put hardest on against a player who would often forward you or something, then the wolves would attack from a further distance and oftentimes kill those forward villagers. I've actually seen that before. There was an expert tournament, it was a 1v1, and someone, the host, knew that his opponent was going to be going aggressive with forward villagers, because he always did that. So he clicked hardest, and then we had to replay the game, because the casters realized that hardest was chosen. But it was pretty funny, because it worked. <laughs> the wolves the wolves actually killed the forward villager, and they denied a tower. Now, we are not competitive with these community games. I think the wilder the settings, the better. The more villagers that die to animals, the better on this stream. So, it's very different. Oh! Oh! What is this? What is happening? There's just dead bodies everywhere! This crocodile! It's the first crocodile I've seen. All over Rufella. Oh, man. Rufella gonna have to use his vills to kill that croc. There's more over here attacking <laughs> Match Lala. Uh, this is so very awkward. We are going to need to remove all our twitch emotes and just keep the T90 woo and make a T90 croc, a T90 zebra, a T90 rhino, a T90 Komodo dragon emote. <laughs> oh man, there's so many animals. It's insane. Rufella has 19 deaths. 19 deaths. So I assume that that was animals. Ouch. Tough to see. So are we going to call this wildlife mayhem or animal nothing? I don't think it's animal nothing. Animal nothing would be if, the, if you started with a TC and five villagers, maybe a hundred trees, and then all animals, like all deer or something. That would be animal nothing. That would actually be interesting. If you could get the feudal age, which you would be able to, then you could we could see scouts and spears and skirms fighting for the middle without gold. Maybe that's another map idea. But poor Rufella is probably gonna go down. Siege and probably knights now from Match Lawa. Match Lawa is a very strong boom, 68 bills versus the 47 from Rufella. This is just This is just how the world works, Rufella. I'm sorry, you just had to be the one to go down. Natural selection. The animals chose you. <laughs> you were the weakest link. <laughs> and now you're going to pay the price because the other strong civilizations. So Castle on the Hill for Shalker. Leisure is in the Imperial Age. I should point that out. So he's doing very well. He has a few Manga die already, but he's lacking upgrades. Teal still has plenty of goats. Probably can click up to Imp if he has the buildings to do so. No castle or anything. Uh, scouting around here. I want to see what the resources are from Match Lawa. See, this is very good for him. Despite getting attacked a lot earlier, and despite still, like, losing... Look at this! Look at this! He's trying to wall out the animals! Yeah, he's gonna lose this vill. I think he's gonna lose this vill. Yeah, I mean, despite that, he's done really well. He's on his way to Imp with a lot of resources. 105 pop, second highest population in this game. As Berbers, he could go for Camel Archers, and that's what he's working on right now. And, oh, this is an Iron Boar. Now, it's only at 24 HP, luckily. But you can tell it killed a couple villagers here. This, this right here. He needs to use the castle to kill it. 
He's killed Rufella's TC. He has knights. He has Maganels. Rufella's sending over scouts to try and kill the Maganels, but that's not going to be enough. With so many knights here, big losses to his economy right now. Trying with the quick walls, though. I respect the move. He is Ethiopian, so maybe he can make some pikemen. Now we have Unlightning, who is Indians. Lots of open space for red and for blue in this area. With stones and with gold, so they're probably going to fight each other for that. It's a little bit difficult when you're in the corner in King of the Hill. Because you oftentimes have to fight three people to get to the middle. Still 200 some years, but I like to point out that Shalker is very close to the middle. Teal has a straight shot, I think. Um... Actually, not really because of this water here. Green is very close to the middle. Uh, purple is working its way towards the middle as well. And this iron boar is still killing villagers. He just hasn't realized it yet. <laughs> He's lost so many villas here. Even the tiger's joining in. All right, young panda, if you're heading out, man, I'll see you next time. Well played earlier. Imp on the way for Teal. So we have soon to be four people in the Imperial Age. Currently we have three. I don't think Rufel is going to hit Imp anytime soon, but he's defended from this. He has defended from this. With the free pikemen. He killed the Maganels and he killed the Knights. Can he kill elite camel archers? No. But he's holding on. He's staying alive. Oh, I didn't even realize these were dolphins. Yeah. These are dolphins. This iron boar! Chat, can you type Match Lala, pay attention to your gold villagers or something? <laughs> that way, when he watches the pod, he's gonna be all not like this because this this boar is at 15 HP. How many vills has he lost here? Let's see, he has 31 deaths. He lost maybe 5 to 10 out on the right hand side. Luckily, the boar is bugged out because he's surrounded by so many villagers. I think because there's so many animals on the map, the aggro from the wolves and the boars are slower. It's it's kind of bugged, but... Oh, we got the MBL lames in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! Holy shit! Oh my god! What is this? This is where the knights went. This is going to be a, a doubt TC because of the animals. Look at that. Holy cow. You picked the wrong place for your TC, Machlala. So many animals showing up to fight there. Just imagine if it was hardest. We got to play this again on hardest because then all of these animals, the iron boar and everything, would have been attacking that. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. That's the iron boar. Don't do it. Don't make them angry. No! Matchla was so screwed, man. He is so screwed. <laughs> oh, the bear is here. The iron boar is here. He's trying to collect like, stone. I don't think he realizes that's an iron boar. Oh, this is a, an absolute disaster, man. There's another iron boar over here. See, again, the boar doesn't seem to be attacking like it should be. But, oh man, that's that's hilarious. Still, he's in a nice position. Second in score. Uh, Mangadai from Leisure. What did Rufella ever do to you guys? Come on, man. Why are you picking on Rufella? He's a nice fella. Leisure seems like he wants to kill poor Rufella. Now, if Rufella makes a run for it, he's going to run into the hands of many animals around this map. So, he needs to decide. Does he want to die to humans, or does he want to die to wildlife? Make your decision quickly. I think he's decided he wants to die to wildlife. So, <laughs> he's gonna try and run somewhere. Uh, 140 years on the monument, and no one's really out here yet. Everyone's still working on their economy. Uh, this is the Trail of Tears. All of these villagers are going to get wrecked. Rufella says, I'm dead. He is dead. And Komodo dragons are going to make sure of that. You picked the wrong tree to chop. <laughs> oh. let's, yes. let's take a look back up here. Oh my. Look. Look. 
All of these villagers were killed. All of them. Except for this woman. I think she was just created. How awful is that for Match Lao? <laughs> there's two iron boars here, and there's wolves, so there's no way he can he can use that town center. Now he's he's pushing in against Yellow at the same time. I don't know what Rufella has done to these guys, but obviously it was pretty extreme because the payback has been real. I feel like everywhere we're gonna look, we're going to see dead villagers. So far, Gaia probably has the most kills. As we listen to it, more villagers die to this wolf. It's a rabid wolf, actually. I just now realized that. I don't know if it is just named that or what. What is the Iron Boar's KD? I wish I could check that, but it's pretty high. Yep. Rip. So many villagers dying to animals. This is just what life is. This is what we have come to expect. 110 years. Leisure's pushing out towards the middle. He also researched nomads, which is a cool tech. Oh, the Furious, the monkey boy is here. Shulker was trying to dock this. Uh, he's actually getting away, believe it or not. Uh, the Furious, the monkey boy is chasing him. And the wild animals are chasing him. Uh, so are the manga die, though. I think docking this would have been a good idea. I would have loved to have seen a bunch of docks and heavy demos in the middle. But it's going to be hard now. I do notice that Unlightning has a lot of Imperial Age camels, which can push Mangadai. So we have that, and we have Mongols for Teal. He must really like champions, because he upgraded to two-handed swordsman, but he looks like he'll be going for Mangadai too. Green. As Magyars, probably would want to go Paladin. It doesn't seem to have the eco to do too much right now. Lots of archery ranges for crossbows, though. Now, I've forgotten all about poor Eldry down here. And wow, uh, Eldry's defending well against Green. I don't know why Green's attacking him. Because this is not the way of the monument, but he wants to do that. And see, both players are Magyars, and Eldry's been going for those strong knights. And he's going for elite skirmishers. So even though he's in Castle Age, he's on his way to Imp, and seems like he's defending well. Now, I want to see, is that his Imp TC? It is not his Imperial Age TC, so... I think he can kill the trebuchets. And he'll be okay. Shocker calling the GG. Which is surprising. I, I guess he sees the units from a lightning. And he sees the units from Leisure. Now Leisure is getting Drill and Onager. So <laughs> as villagers drop to the animals in the middle. Onager is going to be really nice. He docks now for Leisure. He wants to make sure he holds this 78 years now. Will anyone be able to rival him? Oh, wow. Two castles in the middle now for Leisure. This is going to be tough to push. we got to get Match Lao in the game. Because Camel Archers shred Mangadai. In fact, Camel Archers are classified as an anti-cavalry archer archer. They kill everything. <laughs> but they, they definitely kill Mangadai. I think 80 Camel Archers kill 130 Mangadai. It's, it's an insane number. Oh, this castle's been denied! This castle's been denied! Let's go! Unlightning, don't let his name fool you. He should shout out here like lightning and the storm of Imperial Camels stopping those castles. Oh my goodness, speaking of the storm, look at the storm of animals here. Shocker, I think he wants to go for harbors. He's trying to dock here. These, these docks have seven plus two range. Imperial Camels killing a lot of the Mangadai, stopping the castle, and now Max Lau is working his way in with Camel Archers. I don't think Red holds this. I don't think he's able to hold this. Thank goodness, because I want to see it go back and forth. <clears throat> it's not King of the Hill without a topsy-turvy game. Red sacrificed so much for that as well. He's only 140 pop. Match Lau is 150. Blue is 160. And yeah, this is going to go into either blue or purple's hands. <clears throat> Incredible game. Uh, Green paying the price for his attack earlier. Eldry is still trying to find a position to push this. It'll be tough for Eldry because he has one of the strongest players to the north of him. And he's being attacked by the guy to his uh, south or, or east or west, sorry. Uh, Blue took control of the middle. The camel archers can kill these Imperial Camels. 
Um, the, <laughs> these animals might deny the castle? Let's see. No, I don't think so. Let's see, is he gonna stay alive? Yeah, villager just stayed alive. Castle's going up with two vills. Risky stuff. Yeah, cannon galleons aren't gonna do too much for red. I like the idea, though. Just did the math. Screenshot it, and there were 161 kills between the players and 358 total losses, meaning animals killed 177. Pretty much half of the units to die. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, that's not awesome for them, but that's awesome for us. I said to Snippy earlier when I was looking at the map, I said, man, thank God I don't play. <laughs> thank God I cast this. Like, look at this. Unlightning lost the castle, I imagine because of some animals. I don't think it was because of one archer from Shalker. So crazy. South or east or west? Just north missing from that. I know, I'm testing you, man. I'm testing you. Speaking of tests, we're going to see the Mongol Zedrams tested out. Now, still, Teal needs to get all of his attack upgrades on this Mangadai, but he just got Elite Mangadai and he has Seedram. Hopefully, he has Drill. Yes, he does. Look at the speed on these bad boys. And he wants to push the middle. Matchlawa seems like he's in a great position. Unlightning is pulled back. <laughs> the Priest is going down. Shocker must have done something that Unlightning didn't like. And now Shocker paying the price. Shulker's at 40 population. He's actually worse off than Rufella, and I've completely forgotten about poor Rufella. He's over here collecting box turtles and stuff. Looks like he ran into animals and maybe leisure over here. Poor Rufella. Poor Shulker. We know Shulker's good with these settings. King of the Hill is his forte, but he's not going to be able to contribute anymore. The theme of all King of the Hill games, though, is that the person who wins tends to... Oh, look at this. He's going to try and get docs up. Uh, the person who wins tends to have dead people on the left or the right of them. Like, killing someone to your side is always helpful so you can push towards the middle. Now, Shulker is all but dead, and yet he has control of the middle. How ridiculous is that? He's trying to build harbors so he can get some kills. <laughs> and it's kind of working. Look at this, attacking the castle with a dock. Hilarious. Powered on the way for Eldry. He did push down that castle from green. Green, only at 60 population. Probably regretting the fact that he went for that attack. He's going for Cav Archers too, which will die to the Camel Archers. But, hey, if he keeps building castles, seems like Match Level wants to send his Camel Archers into the castle, so maybe that's the game plan here. Now, purple has control of the middle with no units in the middle. And now red with the... The uh, cannon galleons going to take control of the middle. Just going back and forth here. Just going back and forth. So let's look at the armies they have. Lots of Mangadai. Red on the left side. Taking out the docks from Shulker. Lots of Camel Archers and Camels on the right side from Machlawa. I want to see their resources as well. Machlawa, plenty of resources. You'll get Leisure. Leisure doesn't have a lot of gold. And actually, he's being attacked now by the Imperial Camels from Unlightning. Now, that's a weird decision, if you ask me. He's already destroyed Shulker. I think he should come down here to take these resources instead of going after, after Red and throwing away these numbers. Now, on the other hand, if he does hurt Red's economy, then he might be able to push the middle a little bit easier. But there's really nothing of value over here for him. Red is kind of running out of resources himself. Rufella's still getting picked on. <laughs> he just signaled and said why. 78 years remaining. Match Lala with camels and those camel archers in the middle. I don't think anybody can stop him right now. Even sending the Trebs forward. The Trebs will take out this castle. And that's the only thing rivaling him in the middle. Now I say that, but Red has another castle. He has the siege workshops. He has his Mangadai. Camels will not last versus the Mangatai, but the Mangatai will not last versus the Camel Archers. 
I would love to see demos. I would love to see docks, and I would love to see demos. A forward castle now from Match Lawa, so he's continuing the castles. Is he going for it? He's sending a lot of ills in here. It seems like he's YOLOing a bit. Tony says, my favorite streamer. What's up, Tony? Welcome back to the stream. This is an awesome map. If you're just getting here, you missed a lot of action. But it's okay. It's not finished yet. This is uh, wildlife nothing or wildlife mayhem. There's animals everywhere. Hundreds of units lost to animals in this game. Just look at how strong these camel archers are. Watch the Mangadai numbers. Look how many Mangadai are dying considering that he has three to four times the amount of numbers. 50 years remaining. So, Red has to continue to push in. He definitely does. Needs to spam the Mangatai. Probably needs to get his own siege in there. I don't see why he stopped. I think he can fight this. Mangatai will kill the Capped Rams as well. Why are you stopping? You can fight this. Sure, it's not ideal. But I say you still patrol here because there's no Camel Archers. And if you're Maj Lao, you need to get the Camel Archers in here pronto. Now keep in mind that Blue is still attacking Red, so he's focused on that. Blue about to send the Imperial Camels towards the middle. We'll meet Red's castles first. 39 years remaining. This is where they need to work together to push Match Lao out of the middle. Everyone needs to work together. Teal is still here, and Teal has still not come into play. May live to regret that if Purple wins it here. Okay, so what are these Camels going to do? Well, looks like they're attacking red. They should be attacking purple. I don't think they're paying attention. It's so difficult to play Age of Empires 2 as it is. So, to be able to pay attention to such small things that we see as spectators is difficult. What happened to Shocker? Well, Shocker, he's been having a tough time. He's been having a real tough time. 25 years! Come on, Blue, here we go. He's trying to wrap around the monument. It's so tough. Trying to kill all the units here. First, he has to kill Red's Ram. Machlawa trying to... You know what? They can't go around the north side, can they? This is real weird. Is he trying to transport Rams over here? 16 years! Red! Ev somebody! Everybody! Get here now! What's happening? I don't think he can run his melee units around here for some reason. Oh, I guess he can. Let's go, guys! Let's go! Pick it up! Pick it up! Ten years! Leisure, you need to get in here too, man. You need to focus fire down all purple units. You need to go fast. Oh, Eldry's showing up with the Paladins! Let's go! The reinforcements from Match Lawa. This is gonna be so close! It's just some villagers and, and one ram from Match Lawa. Five years, four years, villagers here. Will they stay alive? Will the transport even count? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Look at those vills. Look at those vills. Oh my gosh, he's lost it. He's lost it. That was one year or two years or something. That's craziness. That's craziness. Oh man. Wow. Well, everybody's showing up to join the party now. Everybody joining the party now. The Siege Rams, the Champions, the Mangadai from Teal. It just got everybody into high gear, didn't it? Eldry's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna run away now. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, was, that was a bit of a throw from Match Lao, honestly, because no one was attacking him. Oh, the Champions from Teal, I love it. I love it. He needs to kill this Paladin so he can take control of the middle himself, and there we go, he has it. I don't have full confidence in Teal just because he doesn't have all the upgrades on these units. He does not have all the attack upgrades on his Mangadai, and he does not have the defense upgrades on his... Actually, he's lacking attack and defense upgrades on Mangadai, and he's lacking all defense upgrades on champions. But still, I absolutely love the fact that he has come in here, so well played, Teal. Teal has units at the top, probably some animals. Yeah, some animals. Gotta keep that in mind. So we saw the strength of Eldry. Eldry... Now, sending in the Trebs, and he's clearing up the forward buildings from Match Lawa. That was really, really... That was a big throw from Match Lawa. In fact, I don't know where his villagers went. 
He must have sent all his vills to the middle or something. He's only at 80 population. No way he can win it now unless he waits a while. Red is still in a nice position. Hey, Leisure is the best player as far as rating goes. Leisure is a post math post post I'm sorry. <laughs> um I, I can't speak. Post Imperial Prodigy is a 2.1k deathmatch player on Boobly. He's playing in the big deathmatch tournament. But maybe he just doesn't know how to play these community games because you just gotta go for it. You can't be patient. You gotta go for it. Like right here, this could be counting down for him instead of Teal. He could kill this army easily, but he's sitting back, and I think he might live to regret that decision. Yeah, Shocker's four population. Blue's been picking on him. And Blue is a really important player in this game because he can take all of Shalker's golds. My guess is Shalker has units. Yeah, he's making Karambits in his castle. And he has 9,000 gold. He does have one villager. It'd be some comeback if he'd be able to come back. Now, speaking of Blue's resources, I'll show you what he has. And wow, look at that eco balance. Food, wood, gold, stone, everything he would want. Even population space. Awesome game. Let's look at Red's resources, Leisure. See, he is lacking the gold. So he didn't completely kill Rufella. Rufella is still bothering him, by the way. We have not forgotten about Rufella, have we? <clears throat> so Rufella has been able to take a lot of map and gold away from Leisure. And Leisure obviously can't push blue. Now, see Jonager on the way for Teal. It's at 50 years and Teal has the middle. But now we have Eldry on the way with his paladins. He's building his own castles. He has Arbalest and paladins, which is interesting. Even full paladins should be able to kill all these Mangadai since there's no upgrades on them. Who do you guys want to win? We have Eldry, the guy who probably saved the game when he came in. We have Blue. Blue has been doing a fantastic job. I guess if you're Shocker, you're not a fan of him. But the guy has 60 military and plenty of resources. We have Leisure, the guy who has been playing up to his name quite leisurely in the middle. He hasn't really been pushing. Uh, we have Green, um, who, well, sadly, is only 50 population. It's not looking very good for him. We have Rufella. We have Klein. We have Machlawa, who can maybe come back into this. As much as I want Teal to do well... If he wins this, I'll be very disappointed because there's about 200 military surrounding him and he <laughs> there's no way he should win. Uh, Eldry's going to push in. He's going to do what Leisure should have done a long time ago. Blue needs to figure out how he can get to the middle because he keeps running into red. <clears throat> and Blue's saying mid now. Leisure going to the middle. And... He's going to kill some paladins, but just run away. I don't know. Poor Green. <laughs> oh, I love Spice. Spice is like, let's help. Team effort. Let's kill the champions. Let's go. And then he runs right into Eldry's army and loses everything. There we go. That's back up to 100 years. It's a lot of Magnetite. 75 military for red. I'd say that's the most in the game, and that shouldn't be able to be rivaled but blue has 88 military of imperial age camels so yeah not the case not the case at all i love how Rufello's being a stubborn mule man i love how earlier he was going he's probably pissed off because people were attacking him and he had nowhere to go but he's he's just <laughs> thinking screw you red there's no way i want you to win i'm going to distract you as much as possible forcing red to repair his castle throw away Mangatai. He's probably feeling so good about this right now. This is where it gets interesting. Because Match Lala can always push in from behind against Eldry. Eldry has forward production buildings. Eldry has Paladins. And he has Arbalest. 97 years for him right now. Red, full Mangatai, and Siege Ram. Siege is incredibly important if you want to hold the middle. Also, he has Docks. And I'm disappointed we haven't seen demos. Maybe if you spam T90 demo... You can affect the outcome of this game chat and we'll see some big explosions. I kind of think it's a three horse race between, well, maybe a four horse race between Eldry and Red and then Blue and Purple. 
Green doesn't have the population for this. Rufella doesn't have the population. And Teal does not have the population for this either. Now, Teal has 165 deaths. And while a lot of that was probably the military he sent to the middle, <laughs> that means he lost a lot to animals as well. Can you guys add up the amount of kills and the amount of deaths and tell me how many animal kills there have been this so far? Because that'd be pretty cool to see at this stage, an hour in. This has been an amazing game. Maybe not for some people like Rufella, who's just been on the back foot all game. But it's been fun to watch for spectators. Great community game. Great day for Age of Empires 2. Can we get a T90 Polish emote? Polish? What? <laughs> Why? I've heard Amish before. Why Polish? Blue pushing teal. Um... Looks like he has one camel and a bunch of villagers. He's trying to collect gold. Oh, Furious the Monkey Boy is going to kill everything. Oh my gosh. He, he definitely doesn't realize this. Furious the Monkey Boy is like, ha, I didn't let Teal get this gold. Do you think I'm going to let you get this gold? Oh, jeez. Eldry has the monument with a lot of military and forward castles at 60 years. 60 years. Oh, polish as in shoe polish. Got it. Okay. I did the math after comparing kills to death, and I want you to know that there's a lot. Ah, okay. See, you guys need to be good at math, like Yoshi is. I may or may not have said that in the Harry Davis video. I don't know if you're referencing that, Yoshi. But, uh, it's okay. If you have to steal my ideas, it's okay. You're a cool guy. All subs can steal my ideas. Wow, so about 500 kills is what you're saying for wildlife. If Leisure loses this, he has no one to blame but himself. He could have built those T90 demos. He could have pushed this. He could have won this game by now, I think. Why has he been so stubborn? I don't know. I'd like to think maybe it was because of Rufella. Now, he doesn't know about this castle here yet. Arbalest and Skirmishers will do quite well versus Mangadai, actually, because they have a little bit more range. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Eldry's gonna leave the middle, isn't he? He doesn't have units in the middle. Red can take this. And not the game, but he can start the countdown over again in his favor, because Orange doesn't have any units in the middle. All right. Well, Eldry had a really good time on the clock, but I think he forgot about the fact he needed to leave a unit in there. And it's awkward for him with melee units, because he has to run through this small choke point. This is why demos would be so sick. Demos would be so freaking sick. Copying your name. I'm now T91 official. Oh, sorry. I already have dibs on that. I already have that account. Match Lawa coming back to join the fight now. So just like Match Lawa earlier where he got sandwiched between red and orange. Now he's he's going to be um, part of the sandwich. He's going to be the bread. Eldry's going to be the meat. Now what is Blue up to? Just can't help but think that Blue also could be joining these fights. He has 76 military... He's trying to build a town center on this goal. I think he finished off the monkey boy. He has so much map control. You can tell he's trying to go to the golds. These camels have been wedged here for a while. I saw them about an hour ago. He's playing this smart. Oh, and he's going for elite elephant archers. That's where all his military is because these things are expensive. Okay. Well, he better, he better make a lot of them and he better push fast. I think those elephant archers are good for holding the map, but they're not good for pushing against Mangadai. Maybe Eldry should say, listen, Purple, I'm going to let you go through so you can kill these Mangadai because you have the unit for that. It's awkward because they're so close together and Eldry would almost have to delete his castles, but probably not going to happen anyhow. So the middle has changed hands a bunch of times now. 65 years. Rufella still trying to be a thorn in red side just by staying alive. Teal, what is he massing this time? Siege onagers, okay. That can help. Maybe some more champions. Green. A lot of cav archers. So every player can contribute to pushing red out of the middle, but that is 100 military. 100 Mongol military, and now Red has the key ingredient. He has siege rams there. When you only need to keep one unit in the middle to survive, 
Seadrams are the best choice. In King of the Hill, is it possible to destroy Treb down the Wonder if an opponent is holding it? No, you cannot. You cannot. The Wonder is invincible. Show us Shocker? <laughs> yeah, I should show you Shocker. Uh, let's see. He has 13 Vils. He has two Town Centers. Actually, he has three Town Centers. He still has gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I forgot he was alive. I feel so bad, but I forgot the guy was alive. He's still trying over here. Let's go. He's building the market. When he builds this market, surely he'll come back. He can buy food. <laughs> oh, man. 40 years now. Teal's here with the siege. Can he get a big shot off? Mangadai kill siege. Paladins kill siege. Nope, not going to happen. Oh, red with the walls as well. Now, in comes the push. From Unlightning, he's going to have the Elite Elfin Archers lacking upgrades, unfortunately, but he has fully upgraded uh, Imperial Camels. Needs to take out these castles. Those are the production buildings for Red. But Red only needs to hold this for 30 more years. Match Law is trying to go War Galley. I think demos are probably the best move here, but it's too late because you're never going to be able to keep your docks up and producing. Not enough numbers from Purple. Mm, decent numbers from orange, but I don't know if that's enough. Teal might not be able to contribute. Red could win this game. 25 years remaining. I don't think there's enough rivaling him now. I think blue was far too greedy in trying to get the extra golds and not trying to win the game for himself. And red, he was also pretty greedy, but he was given the time. Eighteen years remaining now. Oh, 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 I love it. I love it. That's how you kill a lot of rams and a lot of units at once. There's some demos. I'm pretty sure all those camel archers died to the skirmisher paladin combo from Eldry for those asking. Okay, heavy demo on the way. Unfortunately, the demos can't go around the monument here. Just because of the way this map has been generated. Blue trying to push in now. He's gotten here a bit too late. Nine years remaining. Heavy demo on the way. Might get a good explosion on the Rams. Only killing one Magdai. Eldry on the way. Do they have enough time? Five years remaining. Earlier match, Lawa lost it at two years. Now he's trying to push in. Do the same. First red. And I don't think that's going to be possible now. Melee units cannot run around the monument. One year remaining. And that's going to be the game. That that was an amazing, amazing game, though. I, mean, I I don't care that Red won, honestly, because so many different people had the middle. Teal had the middle. Uh, Red had the middle. Orange had the middle. Purple had the middle. Blue had the middle. Uh, I think the only people who didn't have control of the middle were uh, Spice, Shocker, and Rufel, the guys who seemed to struggle with the wildlife and uh, struggle in some attacks. Really cool map. Really cool map, and I think the next time we do it, the monument might be generated a little bit differently. So it won't have two ponds on either side. Maybe it'll be completely covered by water, or maybe it just won't be to this degree. I don't know, but I like the map. So can someone in the chat do the math for me? Because I have to talk about the achievements. Take a look at the kills there. I'm going to leave it up as I talk about the game. And uh, I want to compare the kills and the deaths to figure out how many Gaia units got kills. I think we're well over 500 kills credited to lions, jaguars, iron boars, monkey boys. <laughs> uh, basically, all these animals here can't go through them all. 589 Gaia kills. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. More Gaia kills than everybody except Red. Or, or more kills than everybody except Red. Second place in kills was wildlife. Wow. Over 9,000, right? Spice says, these goddamn monkey things, holy shit. Spice, did you get hit a lot by them? I imagine you did. I remember when Blue came down here. Where was it? Where did Blue go to get that gold? Somewhere on this map, he went to get gold, and he lost a ton of bills to monkey boys. I think because monkey boys are so silent and so small, you rarely realize they're there, even though they are on 9 HP. So they could destroy your whole economy, especially if you somehow lure it into your base where all your villagers are. YouTube title guy comes in second. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a good YouTube title. Well, well played, everybody. I tried to take Rufella gold all game, but he was too stubborn, says Rox. <laughs> yeah, well played. That was awesome. Cool maps today. Just wait till you see the next one, though. There's the units killed. We know that Gaia got second. There's the eco difference. This is interesting because both blue and red were trying to get additional golds. I feel like blue played really well, but he probably should have been more aggressive towards the middle because his position was bad in that corner. Technology stats now. This is so hard to follow after such a large game. I guess the only thing you can see is that Leisure did really show his class because of the faster Feudal Age castle and Imperial Age times. And then no relics on that map. There might be relics on the next map. One could say there might be nothing but relics. I don't know. But large fill highs, lots of castles for red. And there's the timeline. So if you're watching this on Twitch, say hello to your future selves and your mothers and your fathers and your cousins and your uncles on YouTube. YouTube, if you're watching this and you enjoyed, hope you did. It was a crazy one for me, but we're going to be doing more of this on the Twitch stream. If you want to join at some point, you can look in the video description. It has my Twitch link. It has my Twitter link. Everything you'll need to follow and get involved with the community. And we stream four to five days out of the week. That is hundreds of hours of Age of Empires 2 if you ever want more. Shocker just said, you suck, to his mom. Wow. Oh, he said, hi, future so Shocker. That makes more sense, Shocker. <laughs> T90 sucks. Hey, man. I don't want to edit this 